It's on. Hello. It's me, Edward Avila, for Shopping Korea slash b -Man. I still don't know what the real name of this live is, but... I took my, my Centrum, got my vitamin D. I was a little tired, but I've been on standby for like an hour and a half, so I'm like falling asleep. So hopefully we have a good time during this live. Summer skincare. All the products we have today are going to be from Chalon de Paris. It'll be like generic talk about summer skincare, poor skincare, things like that. But uh, because obviously we're selling stuff. Chalon de Paris is the skincare we're going to be talking about today. I'm still not used to this because Amazon is very strict when it comes to <laughs> the rules. So um, I need to watch my mouth and also I can't speak Korean, only English. If I start speaking Korean, they'll cut this live off. We went to the, the shop over in Gimpo and we took a little bit of video. So I guess should we play, play the video? Yes? No? Maybe so? Okay. Oh, sh there she goes. <laughs> They had many lines there. This whole brand in general, it's skincare backed by science. I mean, I hope most brands are backed by science. They kind of target the main concerns when it comes to skin, whether it be wrinkles, dark spots, large pores. They have several lines that are all kind of distinguished by color. Uh, the one I decided to choose though was actually the pore line. I have very oily skin, combination skin, depending on the time of the year, but I always would rather be oily and moisturized instead of kind of dry and tight. But I know there are a lot of people that, you know, live in either hot and humid countries or they just have really oily skin and they are looking for skincare for that. So I decided to just try this. And also because as I've gotten older, the pores here, although moisturizing stuff can be good, sometimes it can make your pores look larger. And here, when it looks really oily and shiny here, it kind of makes this part come out more and look Slightly, I, I just look older, I guess. Uh, which is not the look. So I did, I wanted to give this a try because I never really go for pore minimizing skincare. So uh, the Stella line, they're all, they all have different names, but the, the pore line is the Stella line. I have said this in my last video on YouTube and that whether it be oily skin or dry skin, I think the kind of like basic steps are what's important. And then for each step, you kind of tailor it to your skin. So for me, it's generally toner, an eye cream. I don't really have to use it, but if I'm feeling extra or if I need to, my, my, my wrinkles. Then the third step is kind of the um, ampule serums, things like that, the more effective skincare. And then the last step for me would be kind of moisturizer. Kind of a lot of the stuff in this brand is organized in that way. However, they did tell me that you don't necessarily have to use the entirety of a line. You can kind of mix and match based on your skin care concerns. Would you recommend this to someone sensitive? I, from having tested it, I feel like with this, you still, of course, you want to go check the ingredients. Uh, the, I believe the ingredients are available online. From what I feel, I feel like it's, they're pretty gentle at the same time as being effective because that's one thing I've always been concerned about is that if this is effective, it's going to like cause irritation to sensitive skin, but I don't feel like it's irritating my skin at all. The toner is... Well, I guess we'll start with, but we can talk about the packaging first. I have so much stuff at home, I always end up throwing away the packaging, but I find it, I found it very difficult to throw away this stuff because it's so pretty. I feel like you can keep the, the base though and kind of use it to, I don't know, hold it on your desk. And also I will say, because let's not kid ourselves, this is not the cheapest skincare line out there. If it's gonna be said, at least have it work, because I don't want to use something, like even if I get this stuff for free, which I did, to try it, I don't want to be talking about it if it's not going to do anything, but so far, I feel like my pores have gotten small. And again, that's never been really a thing I necessarily was aiming for, but I was surprised at how kind of effective it was within the first few days. And also the lady at the department store was like, oh my God, all the skincare, like with it, like she's always, she works there. So I was like, yeah, I guess, even though she was, oh my, you'll see effects within like three days. But I was like, yeah, whatever. Cause I never really believe in stuff like that. But however, I was shocked at how effective it seemed, of course, like, I need to keep using it, but uh, even for the immediacy of the effects, I was, I was, what are the, shook. They say you can kind of just pat it in with your hands, but for me, I do like to use it with a, a cotton pad, just for shits and giggles though. It's watery, but it almost has like a thickness to it. She's thin, but thick. This is not how I normally use toner these days, but you can kind of just pat it in. How do you describe this? It's very light, fresh, <laughs> the basic buzzwords, light, fresh. But the thing that I definitely noticed about this whole line in general, which was one of the concerns I had, because again, a lot of skincare for oily skin, skincare for enlarged pores tends to be like dry and makes your skin feel tight. But the thing with this, it's tight in the sense that it 
tightens your pores, but also it has a moisturizing ability, uh, not ability, a, a moisturizing uh, component to it. Ceramide, which is kind of like fatty lipids, along with double hyaluronic acid, there's also collagen in there. At the same time as it's kind of tightening your pores, it helps moisturize your skin, which even if you have oily skin, I still feel like everyone needs to moisturize because I feel like it's a very basic sort of thing. If I get the pore care toner, instance, can I pair it with a cleanser? Absolutely. You can. You don't have to get everything in this line. I'm the type of person that feels like I always have to have everything in a line when it comes out as a line, but you really don't need every single thing because even they say you can mix and match things. So if you have a cleanser you like already or skincare that you already like, you can kind of pick and choose things, whether it be this brand or any brand. Let's say I wake up in the morning. I find that my skin doesn't like it when I over cleanse. So what I do in the morning as a cleansing step is I actually just use my toner to kind of wipe off any excess, like if there's like dust or dirt or oil from a last night that I got while sleeping. I kind of just use a cotton pad. The thing is though, you need to make sure that you really soak your cotton pad. These, I like these ones. Um, I actually don't even know the brand, but these are really popular in Korea. I don't think these are really available in America or like from when I was there. Cause I noticed the cotton pad you can get in America easily, eat up a lot of product, but you need to make sure that you use uh, not so much, but enough, because if you use too little on a cotton pad, you end up scratching your skin because there's too much friction. You wanna make sure there's enough toner on there so that you get like a smooth application. I don't like to go in small motions because that will cause more friction. What I do is start kind of from the forehead, down the nose, across the cheeks, and kind of around my mouth. I'm gonna be using really wide strokes because the smaller the strokes, the more I feel like I'm getting that sort of exfoliation thing going on. It's okay if you're having maybe, um, you know, if you have an exfoliator, I guess, and you need to kind of get the areas that are a little bit more dry, or you have more like, kind of just like dead skin, especially around the nose. That's where I will do that sort of motion, like around here, between the brows, because I get a lot of dead skin here, and around the mouth, especially on my chin here. Does it have a strong scent? I'm a guy and don't mind sweet scents, just don't want it to be strong. This line specifically, how will you describe the Hyang? It's kind of light, fresh. It doesn't smell like artificial to me either, but it's very light. It's not heavy. It definitely smells like poor skincare, if that makes sense. Lol, Faye uses those, yes, because they're the good reason. Also, a really great thing about these is that, one, they don't, um, because I have a beard, clearly. So if I use just regular cotton, you get the little hair stuck to the beard. But this, it doesn't shed, but also it's thin and it holds the product really well. So whether it be this toner or any toner, you just use a little bit and it goes a long way because it holds it really well. A lot of cotton pads I use like from America, they soak up a lot of product, but with these, they're really thin. But also you can use these, if you soak a moisturizing toner, you can kind of just stick it to your face like this. But also, which I'll talk a little bit more about later, I like to use them with my sheet mask, but I'll show you that when we, when we get there. Does it burn when you use a toner around your nose? For me, I haven't experienced any burning. It's not like a thin alcoholic toner. Um, if you guys know what I'm talking about if you have those kinds of toners. It's very thin, but it's almost like fatty in a way. Because when you apply it, my skin doesn't feel like, even now, my skin doesn't feel dry. Usually when I do these sorts of skincare videos at home, when I'm filming a video, I kind of have to do everything quickly because after each time my skin gets, it feels like it's dry if I just leave it there before my moisturizer. But with this, there's almost, a, uh, there's again, there's a sort of element of moisture to it. Next, eye cream. I'm not gonna go too in depth because for eye cream, some people use eye cream, some people don't. Lately I've been using only because when I smile, when I talk, I emote a lot. So here I get a lot of like wrinkles around here as well. For summer, I don't really think eye, eye cream is a necessity, but I do like this Lancome. My friend works at Lancome and he gave this to me. It's a very light eye cream. So I kind of just use this on around the eyes, on the sides of my nose, and also whatever's left on the alligator, I'll kind of just put it here. But it's really light for summer. That's what makes it really good. I'm not really trying to push this product or anything. I just happen to have it. It's what I use at home. Of course, if you're like 15, you don't have to worry about that, then you can completely ignore this. But also they say prevention is key, so do what you like. The next step is kind of the serum ampule. Serum ampule is kind of like a word you can kind of exchange, I feel like, in when it comes to like K-beauty. This is the ampule the pore care ampule, which I was also, this one I was like, oh, they have an ampule for their pore line. Because again, I always assume that with pore, oily skincare lines, they never really have anything that's extra moisturizing because they're more about tightening pores and making everything drier. But with this, they have it. And the other 
The reason I like to use a lot of toner on my compact is because that is like a base for the rest of the skincare to help it uh, kind of absorb in. When you have a really good toner and you use enough of it, the rest of your skincare you can use as little as you want because it spreads much, much better. I actually bought, I ended up buying their other ampoule from another line. This one, the Melacare one for my uh, kind of dark spots. This I kind of use at night. I actually tend to use this one during the day because uh, it's more for, again, oily skin, pore skin. So when I'm outside, my skin will obviously get more oily because of the sun and things. So I tend to use this during the day, but don't feel like you can't use it at night. But with this, I literally just spread it on my cheeks, on my face. And I tend to concentrate on the fatty parts of the cheeks. The V-zone tends to be the thickest part of the skin. So I'll put the, I'll apply the skincare there and then blend from there because the thinner parts tend to be the more oily parts of the face. You want to keep those parts as light as possible when it comes to skincare. I know with K-Beauty, there was like the whole like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 step skincare routine, which is fine, but you need to make sure you don't use too much of everything because especially if you wear makeup, it's gonna be too heavy, your makeup's gonna cake, but in general, you don't need that much. You just need to make sure you apply the proper amount and in the right area. So that's why I tend to apply like on the fatty part of my cheek, and then I spread it out to kind of like the center as well as the outside. So I think that's a really important thing to remember. Something that I forgot to talk about, which is actually what I would do, I guess, I guess now would be okay step to do it, is the sheet mask. For this brand, they recommend doing it after the toner. I treat sheet mask almost like a more fancy serum. The, the person that uh, gave me the product, they were like, oh my God, this is like the best thing because I have so many sheet masks and I'm like, what's the difference other than like moisturizing? For me, the, for the longest time, I'm always like, what's the difference between skincare because it's all just moisturizing, am I right? But with this, the main difference I felt with this is that one, there's like this really fresh tingly sensation. So f to me, I got this the feeling that, oh, this is definitely for making the pores smaller because it has a lot of those sort of like cooling ingredients in there. In the summer, what I've heard is that if your skin goes up in temperature, even like one degree or something, that's when you can start seeing issues with your skin. That's why you see a lot of people with like mists because it cools down the skin's temperature. I like to stick these in the, uh, oh my God, I almost said microwave, the refrigerator. I've tried this even when I didn't put it in the refrigerator and they're very cold. So these are really great for kind of treating yourself in the summer. And if you're having a day where your skin is feeling extra pory, when your skin just feel, looks like really, like the pores are just really enlarged, this is great for putting on and kind of helping cool, not only just cool down the skin, but also that sort of tightening action really, of course, makes the pores look smaller. But what I was saying earlier is that another great thing about these sorts of cut-in pads is that this has a lot of ex, ex, excess essence in there. So we'll use a sheet mask. A lot of people will say, oh, just, you know, kind of put it all over your arms and stuff. I don't really like to do that because I feel one kind of gross. And also, especially with this, if this is for like pore minimizing, like I'm not gonna, like why would I put it on my arms? So what I do is I'll take things like this and I'll actually stick them in the sheet mask to let them soak up the extra essence. And then I put them back in the fridge and in the morning, then I'll stick them on my face, almost like a mini sheet mask, just so that the essence doesn't go to waste. These are not obviously, this isn't that like, one dollar sheet mask sort of thing so whether it be this or any of your other sheet masks i think that's a really good tip technically you see this to me that just screams lotion this looks like a lotion to me however chalon de paris they call this an essence but i'm just gonna treat it like moisturizer because that's literally what the texture is you can't squeeze the bottle it's all glass i am never gonna run out of this because it's really hard to get any out this way like now it wants to come out. About that, that much is okay, I feel like. Again, especially if you're layering. When it comes to skincare, layering is the key word. I don't really like having to do that to the, the bottle, so what I do is I just take a Q-tip and whatever's on there, that's what I use. Literally, just take that cheek, forehead, chin. Again, on the fatty parts of the face. And also conveniently, or unconveniently, fattier parts of the cheek is kind of where the pores tend to be. I heard the skincare line is high in Oh Honey. She sure is. And I hope that she works. I mean, she's been working for me lately, but I would hope any skincare line that's gonna be on the pricey side does something. When it comes to things like La Mer and all that, La Mer is like a holy grail for, for a lot of people, but I'm kind of like, girl, she better pay like, 
my rent because it's so expensive. I kind of want there to be other effects other than just moisturizing. Seems like a little goes a long way with this brand. Yeah, that's one really good thing as well. Um, I did kind of do this a lot with the toner, but I kind of just use a little bit only because whether it be this or any other skincare, I always try, again, try to use as little as possible. The only thing that I would use a substantial amount of would be oil cleanser and toner. Those are the two things I feel like you really need to make sure you use enough of because again, they have to do with friction of the skin. And if you don't have enough, you're kind of just rubbing it dry skin. When you make this, the skin smooth, that's when I feel like you get that really pretty like glossy sheen. I don't like the idea of getting a glossy sheen just because of the skincare. Because I feel like that goes away eventually and it's temporary because when you wash your face, it goes away. Daily maintenance, things like cotton pads. Um, oh, also, use these, uh, like if you have any extra, because I dipped it into the, the lotion. This is the, the part I use, this side. If you have any dry skin like right here, Yogi, you can use the Q-tip to kind of roll and kind of, because that part is a really hard area to get when it comes to exfoliating sometimes. That was really red but that's just my skin. Or even here as well, to gently exfoliate. And even though this is a poor, like a poor line, a poor skincare line, I still feel like having a little bit of that glow makes your skin look so much better, even instead of just being flat and like completely matte. There's some people that like that, but I don't like that. So that's why I like this line. Sunscreen, this is where, like if we're talking about morning routine, this is where I would use sunscreen. This, this one in particular, the Creme Soleil de Stella. I believe this is just part of this line in particular, although you can use it with any of the other stuff or again, any of your skincare. I would have expected this to be part of like the more moisturizing line. But this goes it's kind of in that family of uh, sunscreens that are really moisturizing that have been coming out. A lot of brands have been coming out lately with more sunscreens that are just much better than the very like old school style of sunscreen. This one is definitely more moisturizing. Um, there's so many really good sunscreens on the market. It's kind of hard to kind of make this sound any different from those ones. But this one, what's great is that there's no white cast. And it's just really, I'm trying to find another word other than moisturizing because moisturizing is such an overuser, but it's moisturizing. The lady at the counter was telling me, oh yeah, guys love this stuff because um, it's really great for uh, people with dry skin as well. SPF 50 PA quadruple plus. If I'm gonna be honest, this doesn't really stand out that much to me. I just like that it's um, not too thin because there's some light sunscreens that are really thin that almost feel like they have alcohol in them, especially Japanese sunscreens. Those are great for like humid countries, but I still want my sunscreen to have some level of moisture in it. So this one is good if you have, particularly dry skin. It does have some glow to it. So, which is why I'm like a little bit confused as to why it's in this line because it's, compared to the other stuff, it's definitely more glossy compared to this other skincare. Is it physical or chemical? I think this, I believe this is. I wish I was as happy as enthusiastic as the shopping career chatter, I know. She gets really excited. I really, oh, sometimes I just want to do these sorts of things filming lately. I've been filming a lot of things from, that aren't really on my channel. And they'll always be, oh my God, Edward, high tension, high tension. And like, this is kind of just how I've always been. I'm not that I'm not, not that I'm like bored or like not happy to be doing this. It's just that I'm not like <sighs> all the time. So they want me to do the mask now. It's a sort of like goodbye signal. It's a very th thick, is thick the right word? I don't know. It's not like, I've tried sheet masks where they're really like so thick that they don't stick to your face properly. But this one is a good um, cross between being on the thicker side, but the essence is so, like there's so much essence, it helps stick to your face properly. So next week, we're gonna be talking about Marin J. We're fashion content creators now. So that's gonna be on next week's uh, agenda. But for today, I wanna thank everyone for joining me and uh, I hope to see you next time. I'm gonna be sitting here until my 10 minutes is up, so. I'll see you guys later. Thank you. If you didn't catch this, then it'll be on YouTube, so. Annyeong. Amazon is not going to be able to do the platform. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be able to do the platform. I'm going to be able to do the platform. I'm going to be able to do the platform. I'm going to be able to do the platform.